Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Happy Sunday, coming to you from underneath this tree in this empty parking lot. Even though this parking lot is empty, it is filled with many memories, many film memories that I am about to share with you as well as Tyler Evans, rock journalist. What's My up? roommate, which you haven't even appeared in a vlog of mine recently. It's been a while. It's been a little, yeah, a month or two. Exactly. Yeah. We are freshly returned from Monster Palooza. Yesterday, me, you, our friend Brian Buckley, and yep. Justin Scard BD visited mm -hmm. there. You got this t-shirt I there. did, yeah, it's pretty cool. And you also met George Romero. But this vlog is not about George Romero. No, not This quite. vlog is about someone else in the movie industry, That's a man true. by the name of Kevin Smith. Kevin Patrick Smith. Who created a sequel, the follow-up, if you will. There's a child crying as they walk by who is obviously yes. not a fan of Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith, of that course, never was an break. independent yeah. film director that went on to notoriety by creating yeah. the film Clerks, filmed in New Jersey. Yes. Well, the sequel was actually filmed right here. Shunk -a -gunk -a -gunk 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 -gunk. Now, an empty, somewhat empty parking lot, if you will. It's my second channel, Daily Vlog Channel. It's the Daily Woo! What was the name of this establishment when it actually still existed and then when it turned from what it was into what it was called? Originally, if memory serves, this was a Burger King and they changed it into a Movies. Movies, Kevin Smith fans will know, is a fictional drive through fast food restaurant uh, used in the Askewniverse. The Askewniverse? Yes. And what exactly is the Askewniverse? Askew is the, the production. For the layman terms. Askew is the, the production company. So he created his own universe, Kevin Smith, that uh, housed the films Clerks, Small Rats, Chasing Amy, Dogma, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, and Clerks 2. And in your opinion, one of the best Kevin Smith movies is Clerks 2. You were telling me I that think, is one of your fan yes, favorites. I think it's second only to Clerks of Kevin Smith So films. this is kind of hallowed ground, if you will, it for really you. Is. It really You've is. You've been here before, Once on a but pilgrimage. you didn't document it. You didn't no. document it with photos or video. So we yeah. are returning to the scene, scene, if that's a scene, the scene of your, not crime, perhaps. No. Not a crime no. in no any crime. way. This but there were crimes committed here in the movie, were there not? In the film, not? yes. In the film. What kind of crimes Well, there happened? was a little bit of dealing of narcotics. If Narcotic you were dealing. In fact, you were telling me that right over in this area, the two gentlemen who were actually yeah. approaching Jay and Silent so Bob from right here. would have walked in the same spot right. we were, and Jay and Silent Bob would have been standing right here yeah. against the wall was the area. They customers in a long time after going straight, so like, they got to look tough. And then the guy, you know, says what he wants, and Jay does his whole rap. The uh, 15 bucks, little man, put that stuff in my hand. If that money doesn't show, then you owe me, owe me, owe. My jungle love. Yeah, you remember. Very that. good. It happened right here, as well as the part which is not really family friendly in any way, but I believe the male lead character came out of the door with another female, ran over here, and of course, Jason Mewes, the, the Jay horses, the character. Yeah, the goodbye yeah. horses happened right in here, and then of course he was kind of halfway disrobed. Yeah. He was not wearing any pants or a t-shirt, and he had some sort of did he have like a some sort of like a jacket on that he had wide open, mm -hmm. and that happened right in this exact area. And you can actually see the parking lot. You can actually see where this little concrete area that went into the front of the old Burger King that eventually became Moobies. How do you actually spell movies? M-O-O-B-Y apostrophe S. And there is no real fast fast food chain in the real world by the name of movies. No, it was a made they up... thought about starting one in Jersey for a little while, but they never actually did. Jersey is where Kevin Smith was from, originated, but now Kevin Smith lives out here in Southern California. Yes just like we do, and we want to send a shout out to Kevin Smith. Oh, Kevin Smith, you can at that Kevin Smith. Right, on Twitter, at that Kevin Smith. And on Instagram, same, same and handle. Instagram. Yep. Send him this video, send him screenshots of this video, tell him the link, YouTube slash The Daily Woo, movies, filming locations, let's just call this Clerks 2 filming, filming. Locations. let's call it Clerks 2 filming locations in the title. Let Kevin Smith know that we are doing this and let Kevin Smith know what what do we want to tell Kevin Smith today? Listen, we know you're doing mall rats too, die hard in a mall. If you need extras, you're filming in SoCal, we'll hang out, we'll do it. No charge even. We'll just come hang out for the day to be in it. 
And an added bonus is you are part of the Live Fast Die Poor crew who has a healthy amount of subscribers. We do. A healthy so you have amount. a little bit of internet social yes. media pool. I have a decent social media pool. We'll as promote well. it within our stuff. We social will media. promote yeah. your movie. Just have us in a background scene doing something. Yeah. Doesn't matter what Vlogging, it is. Vlogging. It's 2015 now. Right. So be part of the update. Because a new Kevin Smith movie, one of the more recent ones, Tusk. Yeah, Tusk. Which you actually Listen, purchased on Blu-ray. I'm such a Kevin Smith fan that I actually saw Tusk in theaters. Boom. And your name is at the end because those who saw it, if they put their Instagram name, you're in the credits. I am. For a special thank you. Yep. So Kevin Smith, this is one of your biggest fans. I would like to join him in one of your movies as long as you were in Southern California. We would like to go out of our way, yeah. help promote your movie. Mm -hmm. In return, it would make this gentleman's day and I would like to see this guy happy because he's yeah. my roommate and roommates should be happy. Dude. Together. I want to tell you so much fun stuff about this location. All right, talk. Okay, right here. The cast and crew stayed in that hotel overlooking the movies. So this hotel is yeah. where they actually The film was stayed. actually edited, too, in this hotel. Kevin Are Smith you edited serious? it as he went. Kevin yeah. Smith, do you hear this? This yeah. guy knows what's going on. And also, you can see this prominently in a lot of the scenes, especially the roof scenes. Because a lot yeah. of stuff happened on the roof. So when they were on the roof filming, you can actually see this hotel. You can see across the street. I think those buildings are newer post-2006. But you can also see this building as well. These trees, all of this still is exactly the same. See, Jason Mewes wasn't necessary for every day of filming. But he actually came and stayed the entire course of the shoot. And in his room, like, they went to Target the first day. And he got all kinds of, like rubber plants and stuff just to make it feel like a home for the few weeks they were he'll film so he'll in the room or maybe on the ledge in the room he and he creating. got his own like uh, hot plate and he would cook for the crew even though it was catered the whole time very interesting facts the drive-through was right over there there was a huge dance scene kind of where that guy's riding by on the bicycle but a little bit closer to us there was a massive dance scene a choreographed dance scene with Jay and Silent Bob and the whole rest of the cast Probably about 20 or 30 people, wouldn't yeah, you say? Or more than. Maybe even it's than the that. the ABC by the Jackson 5. ABC by the Jackson 5 happened right over in that area right there. The camera would have been facing towards us where you could see the fast food establishment. And the crane shot went between those two trees straight up looking down towards us. If awesome. You're, if you're familiar with the plot of the movie, it would have been right around here that Dante told Randall that Becky was pregnant. Right in this exact right area. Yeah. And check it out, the drive-through paint job is still on the floor yeah. right there. They didn't use the drive-through actually that much. They did, there was that metal scene in the beginning, Grandma, what was it like? But more importantly, uh, Dante would have proposed to Becky through the drive-through right at the end right here. Gives her that ring while, uh, I believe, the Alanis Morissette song is playing. Right here. Yeah, it was right around In this the exact yeah. spot. So if you have the movie, I don't think the movie is currently on Netflix. It's not on Netflix. But if you own it on DVD, is it on Blu-ray yet? It probably is. If you own it on it's DVD buying, or Blu-ray, or if you are a fan of downloading stuff, I'm not really sure if it's on the torrents or anything. Mm -hmm. But you do not want to tell that to Kevin Smith because Kevin Smith obviously wants you to purchase the Blu-ray and the DVD. Yeah. That's what it's all about. So do it legally. It comes with a documentary, a uh, full-length feature. And documentary. I remember watching Clerks 2 recently. I was borrowing yeah. your DVD. And Kevin Smith said at the beginning of it, he does a whole introduction. He said that it is packed full of goodies. There are so many commentary tracks, so many extra the features. The documentary so Back to the Will is about an hour and a half long. It's really amazing. Definitely worth it getting the DVD or hopefully if the Blu-ray is out. Is so, so if you have that, definitely match up some of the shots from the actual movie. I feel like if I understand correctly, this would be where the counter was about, thereabouts. So right behind me is where they had the whole pillow pants discussion. If you haven't seen the movie, if you have, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now how would you describe the movie when it comes to age bracket? Like people that are watching this, they think, hey, I'm going to throw the movie in. I have a six or a seven or a 12 year old daughter or a son, what is the age bracket? Depends, what is, depends on what kind of household you live in, how... Uh, what was the movie rated? Oh, it was definitely an R, and I think because of language and because of some of the stuff that happens within the film, 
they wanted it to be NC-17, but it stayed R. So it definitely is I not saw something... I when I was in high school. You want to pre-watch it before your kids mm. watch it, is basically what, what you're yeah. saying. Clerks came out when I was five. I didn't see it then, but saw it about five years later when I was like 10 or so, and I, I loved it. There's a lot of language, but that, that personally, personally doesn't bother me, but it does bother some people, so keep it in mind. It is pretty amazing, like you were saying, to think that this was the inside of the restaurant. All the interior shots were filmed right in this exact area. Huh? Randall does the wrangle there on the counter? Right there on the counter. Right there on the counter. Where would the office have been? Where do you think the office... Uh, the office, if this is the counter, it would have been back here. This is where the office, and that's where, actually the first scene that was filmed for the movie between where he was and where he was painting yeah. the toenails. That was the first, right in here. That was the first scene that Kevin Smith edited actually, and uh, Jeff Anderson, who plays Randall, wasn't sure still about the film, but he came and took him upstairs and showed him that edit of the movie, and that's what convinced him to uh, stay and do the rest of it. And he knew it would be good after that. Very. He was tied awesome. in. He was supposed to say what pale, what smells like. Uh, nail polish or something but he, he kept saying shoe polish from clerks because if you remember he did the sign and shoe polish i'm a big fan of this guys i could gush i have a lot of admiration for kevin smith because kevin smith is similar to me i moved out of my apartment i started traveling in my van i maxed my credit cards out to travel around to start doing videos lived in my van for three years and now i'm living with this fine gentleman here in mm -hmm. southern california so things are starting not really to pay off, but definitely be on the upswing. So Kevin Smith for me is a big inspiration because when Clerks came out, when he created Clerks, he was actually working at that convenience store yeah, at the from Clerks. Clerks. He maxed out his credit cards, yeah. had no money, and thankfully, Clerks was a big hit and created the empire known as yeah. the Kevin Smith Empire, the podcasting guru yeah. and the independent film guy. So I have a lot of respect for Kevin Smith, even though I am not on the same plateau, the same wavelength as this I, fan, you want to call yourself a fanboy? I don't of? know. I've read every book. I have every movie. That's pretty much a. That's I've pretty much a fanboy. Seen fan all the Q and As from an evening with. And recently, and was it on New Year's Eve? It was New Year's Eve. You went and hung out with the podcasters, Kevin Smith. I didn't hang out with them, but I well, was. Well, you were in the yeah. room. The Hollywood Babylon. You were at in the, the Brea room in Brea. Yeah. So that's pretty awesome. All right, everyone, go on Twitter. What is Kevin Smith's Twitter again? It's at that Kevin Smith. Instagram is the that same. Kevin Smith on Instagram and Twitter. Yeah. Send him this video. Bombard Kevin Smith. I will as well. Retweet it. Keep sending it to him every day until he sees it and replies to he us. He will yeah. appreciate this I think he will. in some sort of fashion. Yeah. He has made a living off the internet, basically, in some sort of vicarious way. Sort so of, we yeah. are sending our vicarious internet video to an interesting word. Tim. Uh, I use that all the yeah, time. Yeah, that's right, kind of. All the time. So, Kevin Smith, if you're listening, we want to be in one of your Southern California movies. AdamTheWoo.com, Tyler Evans, rock journalist from LiveFastDiePoor.com. We want to be in your movie. Yes. That's what this is all oh, about. and uh, watch out for Clerks 3. It's filming in June, I believe. And if that's filmed out here... It's not. It's going to be filmed in Philadelphia. Okay. Well, we probably will not be commuting yeah. to Philadelphia. Unless Kevin Smith feels like flying us out there. Hey, we would go. But I would Southern, love Southern Listen, California would be just a quick drive. It would make my life complete if I could be in a quick stop for a shot in Clerks 3. It that would, would be pretty awesome. I have actually been there. On my birthday about three years ago, I did a daily vlog from there outside of there. I think it was about two or th actually two years ago. Because yesterday was day 1,000 days in a row of doing these daily vlogs without missing a day. This is day 1,001 on this happy Sunday. I'm going to give you a moment of quietness now and just walk around before we say goodbye. So a moment of quietness starts right now. All right, that's about it. Any other last comments, criticisms, or any other sort of things that you want to add into the conversation before we end this vlog here on this happy Sunday? No criticisms. I think that Clerks 2 
signifies the second half of Kevin Smith's career. And I'm really interested to see where he goes from here. I'm really excited for Clerks 3. We'll see how it goes, but I'm really excited about it. I think the whole entire cast is coming back to you from Clerks 1 and 2. Which is be very, very exciting. Yeah. And hopefully... There are a couple additional cast members in the background. Huh? All right. See you guys later, and see you later, Kevin Smith, because hopefully you have watched this video. Goodbye.